as predictable each year as Christmas is, so are the scams that follow. The Fox 5 I team's Dana Faust says keep those packages safe before they get under the tree. She also has information on a new scam that may catch you by surprise. This is scary, Dana. I know, but first let's talk about, you know, the old standard. You're waiting for that package to be delivered. And if you're like me, you track it online. I love that stuff. And it lands at the door, you see it, and then you get home and it's gone. Well, that's the annual delivery scam. I know happens all year round, but it really picks up speed in December, folks. So let's talk about ways to mitigate it this season. You've seen these videos caught on home security cameras. Someone follows a delivery truck, walks up as they pull off and they pick up your package. You see the warning signs on neighborhood message boards, but there's a twist that will be new to you. This is according to our friends at the Better Business Bureau, and this is how it works. A delivery person is at the door. They've knocked, they're holding a package, maybe a gift basket, flowers, wine, something. The, the delivery person says they're not sure who it's from and they claim the card was sent separately. That's your first red flag. Now, to get this mysterious gift, you need to pay a nominal verification fee, flag number two. And for your convenience, they have a handheld scanner to run your card. That's flag number three. Do not do that. That device actually scoops up your card number, your PIN, your authorization code, everything. So how do you avoid being a victim this year? If this person can't verify who they work for, who sent the delivery, you say no thank you. Don't give your credit card information to a stranger at the door. Don't pay for delivery. Sure, you can tip in cash, but that's it, providing it is a legit delivery. And speaking generally, don't have your packages delivered at home these days. You don't have to. Have them delivered to the post office, a neighbor who might be at home, even your office place, anywhere where it will be protected. Also note that UPS and FedEx and other delivery services will drop off your packages now at designated pickup sites like your dry cleaner or maybe the market in your area or some sort of shipping service is also an option these days. Wow, a lot of options for sure, yeah. good options. Now, some people have wine delivered to their house from time to time. Do you have, can you show your ID? You have to show your ID for something like that, but they shouldn't be making copies of it. Be careful of that. That, a, combi a copy of your you know, ID combined with your credit card information is a whole lot of personal identifying stuff. So if all of the puzzle pieces start to emerge, take note of the picture. It's not a mm. good one. Well, you know that old saying, if it doesn't seem right, more times than not it isn't. Yeah, I mean, so I think a lot of careful. times we get that, you know, I tell my eight-year-old, you get that feeling in your stomach down here, uh -huh. you need to... It's telling you something. It's telling you first something. Instinct. Yeah. All right, Dana, great information. Thank you.